Hey, this is Jamie for RC Logger, and I just wanted to take a real quick moment to walk you through our iControl Navigator app for our Navigator to show you all the features and functions that you can adjust in there. So remember that you can download this on the Google Play Store or on the Apple iTunes Store. So let's take a look at it and get into it. So here you can see uh, the selection list of tabs that you'll find on your main screen. The first one is the pairing, which we're not going to go into because that's in a completely separate video showing you how to do the pairing procedure. And you'll also find that in your manual as well. Now let's go on into the settings tab. And in here, you'll see uh, that you can see the app version. You can also adjust your language as well. Um, also here down below, you have a return to home setting. And in here, we can go in there and we can actually adjust the setting of height that we want the unit to go to when it's returning to home. So also too, we can choose to set the uh, heading that it takes. It can either be in the heading that it is, or if you want it to face you or face away from you when returning. So let's go ahead and let's cancel that out. The next thing that we have is our geofence settings. This is our settings for our height and our distance. And in here we can turn these on or off. Uh, and this will set how far out and also how high up the unit will go. So right now if we turn those on, you can see it's set to a height of 20 meters and a distance of 50 meters. Once it reaches these points, then it will actually come to a stop. It cannot go out of those. Now remember please also too that these only work when the unit is in GPS mode and also in your, uh, your lower rate flying mode. So let's close that out and let's go out of this and back to our home screen. The next thing that we have is our low altitude control. We're going to go in here and you'll receive a beep note letting you know that the unit is connected and is responding to this. So now we're in our low altitude control, and in order to engage this, then all we need to do is take our slider, and we're just going to slide it up. And here we've set it to 8 meters, and you can see that it took that. And so what happens now is anytime the unit flies above 8 meters, when you come down to that height, then the unit will not be able to go below that. And that gives you the safety of not crashing into the ground. Um, in order to break through that, then you'll need to hold the throttle down, uh, for about five seconds at zero and that will break through that barrier at that point and then you can take back over control. So that shows you how to uh, adjust that and that's a great safety feature for you. Let's go back out of this and then our last one that I'm going to show you is the camera stabilization. So we're just going to click on this and you'll hear a double beep. You can see right now it's turned on and this if you look at the navigator shows that the front camera is stabilizing keeping the uh, horizon level and keeping it in front of you. And if we tap on this, then it will actually uh, turn it off. And now when we go to the navigator, you can see that it is not moving. So now it's locked in place. So you have the ability to turn that feature on or off. So that shows all the features and functions of the app at the present moment. And the last thing that you'll see on here is task point. Uh, I'm not going to show you how all that functions right now, but we are going to go into that menu real quick. We are working on this uh, feature and we'll show this in a future video. You'll also see it in our Nova X video as well. Um, so we do have that implemented right now, but right now it's in testing stage with the Navigator. So anyway, that shows you all the features and functions of the Navigator 250 with the iControl Navigator app. And uh, if you have any questions, then reach out to us at support.rclogger.com and uh, make sure to check out the Navigator 250.